In this video, we're going to be looking at coping with eBay selling allowances with M2E Pro. And this actually came from one of the community members over on understandinge.com. And they asked, what would be the best way of adding an eBay specific quantity attribute to Magento, just to, to add context to that. And I have a limitation on my eBay account on how many t items I can list. And I assume that would be the case for with lots of new sellers as well. Uh, I can add a new attribute for it, but what would be the best way of syncing it? And I think that's a fantastic question, Dave, because if you are new to selling to eBay or you haven't escaped the selling limits just yet, then this is going to be a real, real problem for you. Yeah, definitely. And eBay selling limits, for those who maybe aren't familiar with the term, is basically an allowance that eBay put on your account or in particular categories and items that you can list until they either receive key personal information from you or your business or whilst you build up a positive selling history. And this is 100% normal for new accounts. We've actually got a screenshot from our account there, and, and you can see our selling limit. We got 100 items, which we hit in one of the training guides, which we did earlier. And we did. It wouldn't list. Uh, and, you know, the, these allowances are split into two. It's either 100 items or £3,500 per month, whichever one you hit first. Yeah, and those limits go up over time. And the, the crucial point there is, is that once you've got a selling history with eBay, then they will relax these selling limits. And it's there to protect not only you, but it's also there to protect the buyers on eBay too. So you may think they're annoying, but actually they're a really good idea by eBay just to, to, to ease you into selling on eBay. Now, let's go on to the topic with M2E Pro. So in this case, this user is using M2E Pro and Magento to manage their stock levels on eBay and the other marketplaces. Now, there's a couple of different ways which you can handle seller allowances in Magento with M2E Pro. And actually, it's quite easy and we've got several options for you. So the first option is that you could fudge your stock levels, which was so nicely put by Matt there. That's and, definitely a Bristolian thing. <laughs> and that means basically you you edit your, your stock levels on eBay so that it's it's not actually the true stock level that you've got available. Indeed. So that would mean actually you change the stock levels in Magento, but that would also impact what's going on with your other marketplaces and also your website too. So that's not really ideal. No. And And the same for number two. You could elect not to list the products on eBay. And again, some would argue that sort of takes away the point <laughs> of running a business online, not listing your products there. Indeed. And in M2E Pro, you could set it to only list one item. That's a viable option. Yeah, totally. You could force a stock level through your quantity, price and quantity and format policy to just set one item in there that, or, or just a set level. Or as our community member was suggesting we could create just a special magenta attribute just for eBay. And that would work. But I think longer term is not really your true stock level. So we have a six option for you. And that's the one which we're going to show you how to do in Magento and M2E Pro, which is that you could use the conditional quantities setting in M2E Pro. And a quick note here is that there is software out there which will do this for you, which you've got to pay for. And this is included free right now with Magento and the M2E Pro extension because it's subsidized by eBay. So, Dave, why don't we jump across to our Magento system and have a look at this conditional quantities? Yeah, let's do it. So we've been jumped across to our Magento system and we're going to go and have a look in our default listing group in Magento and M2E Pro. So we're going to click through. And, and the reason why we're doing this is because we're assuming that you don't know. And frankly, we don't know which policy has been set on your listing group. And this is the route. This is the reason why we've come through this route. So if you click on edit listing settings in the top right hand corner, and then if you click on the option called selling, and this will take us to the defaults for this listing group. And excellent. There we go. So the group which we're after is the price, quantity and format group. And on the right hand side, you'll see that there's a, 
edit link here. So if you click on edit, and that will open up in a new tab in your web browser, and you'll come to this section here. And the section which we're after, and again, if I just scroll my browser down a touch for you, is to do with this quantity and duration section. So we can see that we've got list in duration. So ours is set up is good till cancelled. And then we've got the quantity option. Now, this is where if you leave it as product quantity, which is what we would suggest, is that it will take the product quantity from the inventory record in Magento. But you could set it as a single item. So it will force just to list one item on there, Dave, which yeah. that would meet the requirements of the community question. Now, the other option which you could do is that you could set a custom quantity on there. Now, that would be handy if you maybe had an unlimited number of products and you didn't really care about stock control, for example. Okay. But the option which we're going to suggest is that you leave that as product quantity. And where you've got this option here, and this is the special option in M2E Pro, which is called conditional quantity. If you enable that, and change that to enabled and then you can then choose the maximum quantity to be listed and if you change that to two okay is that what will happen is that when you list an item onto eBay even if you've got a hundred in stock it will only list two and the other reason why we're suggesting two is that if we had it as one and it was just a single listing and somebody bought it then the listing would end and that's not ideal whereas if you had two is that the item would sell and you would then have one left in stock and the listing is still on eBay and that would allow M3 Pro to have enough time to come back and then change the stock quantity back to two. So in this guide, we looked at eBay selling limits and the settings that we can use within M2 e Pro to manage or meet these effectively. Indeed, we want you to be able to have maximum exposure of your inventory across the marketplaces. And we went through what the selling limits are and the options which we have available to us. But we did pick on one specifically, didn't we, Dave? We did. And that was to use a feature within M2E Pro called conditional quantities. And as we look through in the guide, that allows us to set a maximum number of items to list with that will update as they sell. Indeed. So in our case, we've got a limit of 100 items in our eBay account, and that's mainly because we haven't done much selling on there. We've only really used it for testing. But yeah. your, your number is probably higher than that, or hopefully higher than that. And that means that you can get more products on there, and you don't hit the quantity limits on there. And again, if you hit the, selling, uh, the actual sell value limits, that's happy days. It means you've been and sold a lot of products. But when it comes to the quantity limits, we wouldn't really suggest using a separate Magento attribute. You could if you wanted to. And back in the guide, we showed you where you could set that. But we would suggest using conditional quantities. If you found this video guide useful for you and your business, then nip across to understandinge.com forward slash now. And we have a shed load of other video guides for you, all dedicated around Magento, e-commerce, and turning Magento into multi-channel software, which is highly inexpensive. And we'll see you there. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.